Welcome back live to Paul Brown Stadium where the Bengals improved to 2-0 and for the first time since 2006 with a 24-10 win over Atlanta. Also bring in James Ryder now and James it looked great for the Bengals on paper, but there were a lot of injuries in this game, particularly one to their best player early in this game, and it looked like they could be in trouble. Absolutely. It looked like things could be bad. The crowd, they didn't even really seem to notice. They stayed loud the entire time. However, the MRI on A.J. Green comes back negative. That's absolutely good news for the Bengals, for this team moving forward, even though when you looked at the offense putting up 24 points, the offense never really seemed to miss a beat without A.J. Green. Oh, he was just saying, just go out there and make plays and have fun, man. You know, just 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 kind of guy AJ is, and you know, he said he was gonna look from the sideline. You know, give us any keys that he can see, and you know, help us out. And once AJ goes down, I mean, you know, with, with a guy like him uh, who just makes the passing game so much different, uh, you're gonna have to be able to run the football, and, and for them to know that you're gonna have to do that and still be able to do it, like I said, is a positive. We practice, you know, amazing, man. Our tempo is great. Every guy's finishing every play, so you know, when a guy goes down, you know, we're not gonna lose an edge as an offense. Every guy can step up and make plays, so it starts on the practice field, and you know, when we go out there, you know, we make it look easy.